The Biothane Webbing, manufacturer in Ohio, USA. They specialize in coated PVC and TPU coated polyester webbing. What we are looking at here is going to be the leatherweight series that we're stocking. And we're stocking all this product in one foot, 25 foot rolls, 100 foot rolls, inch and a quarter, inch and a half, and a few colors, you can see here. So what we are going to discuss first is what is biothane webbing? It is a coated polyester. The granite series is a TPU exterior uh, coating. And the beta series, the 580s and the 520s here, is a PVC coated webbing. The granite series is a little stiffer. So here I have is a beta. This is the beta 520. And here is a granite. So you can see a little stiffer here in the play. So this is soft. And this is a little stiffer. That's the granite. So beta 525 here, matte finish. This is the beta 580, semi-gloss. This is the granite 235, matte finish. And the granite 281, semi-gloss finish. All of these products have one side that has a leather embossed grain and the other side that has a sand grain. So up to you on which side you want to have as the exterior. The leather weight series is made primarily for leather waist belts, but you can use it for a variety of other uses, saddlery, tack, equestrian gear, pet products, collars and leashes. They are waterproof, highly durable, limited stretch, easy to clean. So all of these products, which have the three millimeter thickness, have the same brake strength, a thousand pounds per inch. Durability, stretch resistance is gonna be the same across the board. So let's show you some of the differences. Starting over here with the beta products, we've got your beta 580 and your beta 525. So I'll pull this to the leather embossed grain side. The beta 525 has a matte finish, the 580 semi-gloss finish. That's the difference. So it's an aesthetic choice for yourself, whichever you prefer. Coming over to the granite, same idea. The 235, I'll show you the grain side, and the granite 281, 281, semi-gloss finish, and the granite 235, matte finish. A couple of the frequently asked questions on biothane. Can you sew through it? Absolutely. Can you rivet through it? Yes, you can. Heat sealing, you can heat seal. When you cut the edge, there may be a slight fray to the polyester webbing. You can heat seal it, but this is a PVC TPU product. You should absolutely be in a well-ventilated area if you are gonna be heat sealing the edges. You can also edge paint, perfectly fine. You can also leave it exposed. There's no need to cover this edge. You're gonna have the same waterproof properties as you do with or without. So I wanna walk you through a few of the steps of hole punching and edge paint. So we finished a belt earlier, but let's take a fresh piece Inch and a half, this is our granite 235. Leather embossed grain up. Take our end punch. All right. Take a hole punch. I'm gonna show you two hole punches here. A little too far through on that one. But a nice clean cut through. So nicely cut through. Show you one more. This is for your belt buckle. Comes right out. So a few steps here. Let me show you the finished belt that we just made. So we finished this off here. Two Chicago screws, belt buckle. I am going to also show you here is how to click. So let's walk over to the clicker press. Let me grab an inch and a half and the clicker die. So here we are, a four ton clicker. I'm gonna put the embossed grain side in, so that's gonna face up. Pull it over. All right. There we have it. Punches right out. Okay. All right. So let's show you some edge painting. So I've got a, a dark brown, a little darker than this medium brown strap. So you can see, get up close, you can see that edge, the polyester interior. 
little Giardini edge paint. And it rolls on real nice. Nice bead there. I'd recommend two coats. And that's it. I'll sit that there and let it dry. Those are the few characteristics and, and ways to use the leather weight biothane webbing products.